So they'll send numbers forward. A little over 11 minutes to play here in the first half. Ball sent into the box. Headed back. Rachel Downey plays the ball in, knocked loose, knocked to the turf, and it'll be out for a goal kick. Johnson came crashing in on that one. A little bit of contact with Cude. So U of H will play the ball in. Long ball sent forward by Morgan Good. And it's out for a throw. Bowen tried to cross the ball into the box. Rachel Downey got a foot on it, and it's knocked out. It'll be a Bearcat throw. Downey will come up and take the throw. Rachel Downey, another one of those freshmen on the back line for the Bearcats. Freshman out of Mansfield, played at Mansfield High. Mentioned there is youth on the back line. Two freshmen, two sophomores, and a sophomore goalkeeper for the Bearcats. A defense for Sam Houston that's going to get the chance to grow up quickly here through these first three games as they will be tested after tonight's game against Houston. They've got Gonzaga on Sunday, and then it's at TCU on August 29th. TCU, by the way, opening the season tonight at defending national champion Florida State. Horn Frogs receiving votes in the top 25 poll. So the Bearcats going to get tested here early. They're going to learn a lot about themselves through these first three games before coming back home for Arkansas Pine Bluff on September 6th. About eight and a half minutes left to play in this one. Houston leading at 3 0. Cougars will send the ball in. Play it into the middle. Woodall with it here. Plays it forward for Friedrichs. Fredericks. Plays it out wide, ball crossed in the box, and knocked away by Houston. Only as far as Rachel Downey, though, and she plays it right back in. Ball sent out towards the far sideline. Now into the box, Cats up pressuring. Katie Johnson, and the ball's played wide, and it'll go out for a Bearcat throw. So nice work there by Katie Johnson to track back defensively and force the miscue for Houston. So it'll be a throw for the Bearcats. It'll come from inside the 18. Chance to set something up. The cross was blocked. Bearcats right there, look to keep the pressure going. They lose control of it, and here's Bowens off and running with it for Houston. Bowens looking for somebody to play the ball too. Sends one forward, it's headed down. And now the Cats will play it forward, but nobody there to get on the end of it. 6.40 left to go here in the first half. Three goals for Houston. Cude will roll it out as the Cougars will look to build from the back. 
Once again, Katie Johnson doing a good job defensively over there on the far side. So the Cats will make a move. KK Bickford will check into the ball game. Ashley Fredericks will check out. The throw sails a little high. Brooke Jones wasn't able to get on the end of the pass. Cats knocking it around in the midfield. Out to Woodall. They'll drop it back to the back line. Now send the ball forward. Down on the far sideline. U of H there cuts the pass out. Cats keep it alive. Five minutes left to play here in the first half. Cats looking to see if they can pull one back before the break. They've conceded three here in the first half. A lot of contact there in the midfield. It stays with Sam Houston. Top of the 18. Shot set. High and saved. Brooke Jones took a shot from about 20 yards out. It took a nice save by Q to keep it out of the back of the net. Second real good opportunity for the Bearcats in this game. First one was cleared off the line by a defender. Second one was a nice save by Cude. So the Bearcats will have a corner from the far side. Ball sent in and nobody there to get on the end of it. It's going to bounce all the way through the box. Out to the far side, and it will be out for a Houston throw. Under four left to play here in this first half. Throwing comes to Brianna Woodall. Ball knocked away. And it will be Bearcat throw. No, they're going to say Houston was last to touch. So Houston will throw it in here. DePauli will throw it in right at the midfield stripe. Headed down by Downey. And the ball's knocked forward. And it'll be out, and it will be a Houston throw. Ball will remain with Houston. We've got two minutes and 40 seconds left here. Cats looking to see if they've got one push in them here before the end of the half. Katie Johnson tried to turn. She was dispossessed in the midfield. And the long ball sent forward and out for a Houston throw. 3-0 U of H leading it here in the first half. Goals by Dolan, Bowen, and Good for the Cougars. As Delosier sends the ball out towards the Bearcat bench and out of play. Houston will throw it in, and it will click out for a Bearcat throw. Hey, 
Headed down by the Cats. They'll play it back and look to switch the field over here to the right-hand side. Grace Stein in the middle, sends the ball forward. Woodall asked for it and just couldn't get on the end of the pass. So there's less than a minute left to go here in the first half. Cats will have a throw and maybe one last push here for the Bearcats before the end of the half. 45 seconds, but they couldn't control the throw in and it'll go out of play. U of H will throw in from the far side. Pressured there from behind and knocked out. Be another Houston throw in. <laughs> now a whistle and a handball is the call. There's six seconds left as the time is ticking down here on the first half. So that'll get us to the halftime. U of H leading it three to nothing. We'll step aside for a brief moment. We'll come back and give you a recap of what happened here in the first half. Once again, U of H leading it three nothing. This is Sam Houston State Soccer here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Catch it. 
Lenses that like you know change yeah. in the sunlight. I have to get new lenses oh, for my yeah. actual glasses. Like my prescription changes. So I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna go like one random just set up appointment like some random day and be like, all right, now I get I think, my sunglasses. I think we should lobby to get it and they moved over there. It's like a breeze. Oh, it feels great over there. See, oh. it feels. What do y'all need? Let's go over there. Power out. Power. Power. Power is all we need. Power is. I think power is on that light bulb. There's only one outlet over there. Um, like, like, completely. Then y'all just have to run power off of marketing strip. Yeah. We, uh, Brant and I in the hotel in North Carolina, I think the Cowboys-Rams game was on and we watched a little bit of that. I saw the Cowboys score a touchdown. I told Brant, I was like, yeah, we can turn it off now. <laughs> Nothing more is going to happen. What time is the, uh, the Sam Spring supposed to go? Saturday. 
I don't know. It feels like we're the last ones to get Yeah, absolutely. The shade is all the way down the sideline, all the way down the sideline. The stands are fine. They were like yeah. 10, 10, 20 minutes in. They were good. Yeah, I got to love that midfield shot right now. I know. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Is that the only one, or y'all have multiple ones? Um, that camera, that camera, only got one time. Okay. Got one. So, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I told Jason when I knew him. We'll be good if I could go. Go, go. Yeah, we got all the tools. We'll be good if I could go. Go, go. I'm going to do it often and sit down with it. Yeah. Yeah. I can know what the hell I need to do. Right. But yeah, we, we need to make it come back there. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to Derek the other day. He's the place the bar is rolling. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where's, I'm sure. What's it called again? The, uh, Lost Lake. Yeah, Lost Lake. Yeah. 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 yeah, he, uh, yeah. he, went, he went to the morning yeah. show. Whatever the dude wanted to do. He took a bunch of drinks and they were teaching the morning show host how to make drinks. That's awesome.
And welcome back to Pritchett Field. Jason Barfield here as we're about ready to get the second half underway. Bearcats trailing U of H three to nothing. It was goals by Kennedy Dolan in the 11th minute, Desiree Bowen in the 25th minute, and then in the 30th minute, it was Morgan Good. That was the three goals by U of H. Each team with five shots. Bearcats with two shots on goal, two saves by Cude, the keeper for Houston. Abby Delosier does not have a save yet in this one. Been relatively clean. Just four fouls called, two each. So the Bearcats will be looking to see if they can get an early goal, see if they can start building something on the offensive end. Most of this game has been played for the Bearcats in the midfield. They've had just a couple of opportunities. Their best chance came right around the 20th minute. Brianna Woodall found herself in on goal. Actually beat Cued, but the ball was cleared off the line. And then moments later, Houston made it 2 nothing. So the Cats were there, chance to equalize. And then quickly the other way, Houston put a ball in the back of the net. Desiree Bowen had the assist on the first, scored the second, and assisted the third. She's had a hand in all three goals for the Cougars. That third one came off the corner kick. So we'll switch sides here at Pritchett. Into play first, 45 minutes to play here in the season opener for Sam Houston State. It'll be Sammy Mayock getting it started for the Cats, and we're underway. The ball's knocked forward, and it'll get into the hands of Cude. So Cude will send the ball into play as Houston will send the ball forward towards the midfield circle, and it's controlled by the Bearcats. Courtney Pollock has the ball knocked away from her. But Woodall's there to jump on the loose ball. U of H holds on to possession. This cat's pressuring a little bit. Danny Forsyth. Tried to have the ball played back to her, didn't make it back. And now Houston is pressuring over on the right side, sending a ball into the box. Delosier can't get there. Shot knocked down by Delosier. Nice save by Delosier, her first of the game. And now another shot and another save by Delosier. Diving to her right this time, she punches it away. So Delosier, who didn't have a save in the first half, has come up with two big ones here, 90 seconds into the second half. It'll be a corner kick for U of H. So the Cougars will take the corner from the far side. Everybody back defensively for the Bearcats. Ball sent into the box, and it's headed over the crossbar. Cougars showed they're dangerous on the corner. They got the goal in the first half. Their, sec their third goal of the game came off a corner. Delosier out to Mayock. Mayock with it for the Cats over on the far side. Goes to the ground and a foul called against Houston. So Mayock wins the free kick for the Bearcats. 
Cats trailing here, 3-0. They look to fight their way back into this. They had a couple of opportunities in the first half, just couldn't find the back of the net. This ball is sent forward towards the head of Mayock. Might have gotten a touch on it, nicked it backwards. Ball's kind of pinballed around in the midfield here and settles down to the Bearcats. Knocked forward, Mayock sends it forward towards the line and it is off sides. Run started just a little early over on the far side. Hannah Dupin just couldn't check her run. This one knocked forward for Mayock. And a whistle and a foul. And which way is it going to go? Mayock was knocked to the ground first, but she's the one who was called for the foul. She protested a bit, but it'll be a Houston free kick. I'll tell you what, that's one of those situations. If you can let the first contact go, you really need to let the second one go as well. She's fighting off the contact and gets called for the foul. Unlucky there for Mayock. Doesn't come to anything for Houston as Delosier gathers the ball into the box. Headed forward, Hannah Dupin knocks it down into the attacking third, and it'll be a Bearcat throw. And the Cats will be back in action on Sunday, 1 o'clock game against Gonzaga. It'll look to be another tough test for the Cats. As the ball is sent into the box, didn't get a little contact on that cross, just kind of dribbled it in. Possession stays with the Bearcats here in the midfield. Contact and looks like it'll just be a throw in for the Bearcats. I think Tom Brown was wanting a free kick. No, it looks like they will call the free kick. So it is a foul and a free kick for the Bearcats. So the ball will be sent forward into the box, but it's too far for everybody as Cude gathers it in. Houston with the ball into the midfield. Clearance was blocked, stays with the Cougars. And now knocked forward and it'll be Houston ball. Woodall one possession for the Bearcats. Ball played forward for Mayock. Gives it back to Woodall, who's knocked to the turf. I think it'll just be a Bearcat throw, however. And that one knocked out. And Houston will throw it in the other way. Seven minutes gone here in the first, uh, second half. Houston with three first half goals. Leading three nothing right now. Ball knocked forward and down to the feet of Fremichow. And then send forward. Settled in the midfield by the Bearcats. Sammy Mayock with it. Mayock trying to get on the end of it. Heavy contact and a foul called. And an injury and Mayock's going to be called over. Boy, that was just a coming together. Looked like they were both going for the ball. Uh, 
The referee's going to go over and have a chat with Mayock, and I think he told her that's it. So no more. Next incident for Mayock will result in a yellow. He doesn't show it here, though. So just a stern talking to for Mayock. Really unlucky on both whistles against her, too. That was just heavy contact. Two players going for the ball. Tom Brown doesn't like it. He's pacing over on the far side. Packer controlling it for Houston. Woodall trying to win it for the Bearcats. Nice work there in the midfield, but the ball's played forward to Packer. Packer, top of the 18, into the box, in the shot, wide. It'll be a goal kick. And now Delosier is down. And maybe cramps for Abby Delosier. Delosier kind of writhing around over there in pain on the ground. It looked like initially, I think it is a cramp that she's trying to stretch out there. You see her sticking that left leg out. It is a hot day here on the turf at Pritchett. Fifty-fourth minute here at Pritchett Field, Houston leading three nothing. Delosier sends the ball forward. Woodall knocks it forward for Mayock. Mayock on the ball. Sends the ball to Dupin. Dupin trying to chase it. She can't get there, however. Cats have sent a couple of nice balls through. Their forwards just have not been able to connect on the end of them. Remains a 3-0 Houston lead. The ball is, it's again, knocked forward. Houston trying to get something in the box. Swings it out wide for, Parker, for Packer. And it'll be a goal kick. Once again, ball cleared by Cued for U of H. Ten minutes gone here in the second half. Cougars leading 3-0. Cats threatening here, though. Dupin sends the ball into the box, headed away by U of H. Can the Cats keep it in, though? Houston doing a good job defensively. Cats play another one, top of the 18, gathered in there, strong into the box, and the ball is touched, and it'll be out for a goal kick as Caitlin McDonald made the run for the Bearcats. Just couldn't get that final touch in. First decent chance here in the second half for the Bearcats. A little shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact, and Delosier comes out and gathers the loose ball. May have heard the referee there saying no, no. For the most part, he's pretty much let them play in this one. 
Sammy Mayock has been warned, but no cards have been shown. And the foul count is still relatively low, four apiece. And honestly, if you ask the coaches, they'd probably rather see it played this way and called this way and let the players play it than to have a ton of stoppages. As that ball is knocked forward and U of H is onside, but it won't matter. It's too strong and rolls out for a Bearcat goal kick. Breeze starting to settle in here a little bit at Pritchett Field. Pritchett has been the home of the Bearcats for the most part since the program started. That was back in 2003. Cats had a couple of spells playing their home games over at the intramural fields. Of course, back when Pritchett was a grass field, conditions could get a little nasty over here. Standing water in some places. But since it's been switched over to turf, it's been a really nice home complex for the Bearcats. As Pollock knocks that one down, U of H continues to control the possession though. Pollock with it here, fighting off the challenge, tries to nod the ball forward. Danny Forsythe will throw it in for the Bearcats. Forsythe sends it far for Mayock, and it's knocked out, and it will be a Houston throw. So the ball will go all the way down to, L to Ladozier. And a scuffed clearance, and the ball just goes wide. Oh, nearly a mistake in the back was costly. But the shot just pushed wide as the Bearcats couldn't clear it out of the box. Fortunate there for Sam Houston, this is not for nothing. Katie Johnson checks back into the ball game for the Bearcats. She was sub in for Lexi Primachow. As Dupin tries to clear it forward, ball's blocked. It'll be a Bearcat throw. Half an hour to play here at Pritchett. Still looking for our first goal of the second half. U of H has really had the better of the opportunities here, here in the second half. Delosier forced to make a couple of nice saves in the first 90 seconds. Caitlin McDonald with the one half chance for the Bearcats. She got into the box but couldn't control the final touch. But for the most part, second half's been played in the midfield a bit. And to the Bearcats will be back in action here on Sunday, taking on Gonzaga. That ball is headed forward. Katie Johnson looks to get on the end of it. Knocks a long ball down, and a foul is called. And I think we're going to get our first booking of the game as Johnson had a clear opportunity to make a run on the end of that. And that was a professional foul. And it is going to be a booking. Cassidy Formanek is shown yellow here as she drug Katie Johnson to the turf. 
You know what? That's probably a smart foul because Johnson was going to be off and running with it. So she'll take the yellow, and the Bearcats will have a free kick. Diego Bocanegra, the head coach for U of H. Not agreeing with the decision as the ball is sent towards the box. Knocked back, another one sent in and sails high. And not that Bocanegra disagrees with the yellow card. I think he's asking for a foul before that that wasn't called and therefore resulted in the yellow by Formanek. Ball sent forward by Houston. And now knocked forward by the Bearcats. Hannah Dupin on the end of it. Can she chase it down? She gets on the end of it. Steps into the box. Cuts. Fires one in, but the shot is high by Pollock. Pollock had it come to her feet, but it caught her on an in-between hop. And the ball sailed over the top of the crossbar. I think Bearcats starting to show a little bit of pressure. A couple of opportunities here for the Cats have gone by the wayside. They look to try to keep the pressure on. Another ball played forward. Dupin on the end of it. Dupin once again onside. Cuts towards the box. Knocked to the turf. And it'll be a corner kick for the Bearcats. So the Cats starting to show a little bit of life on the offensive end here with 27 minutes to play. Looking to see if they can turn this offensive spell into a goal. Katie Johnson will set the ball down and take the corner kick for the Bearcats. Ball sent into the box, punched away by Cude. Sent back in by the Bearcats, headed out by the Cougars. Another one headed back in by the Cats into the 18. And contact in the box. And now a foul will be called against the Bearcats. I believe the extra, extra contact there by Pollock. Knocking the defender to the turf. But once again, another decent spell. As the Bearcats are showing a little bit more pressure as Mayock looks to settle it here. Mayock dragged to the turf, played the ball forward. And no foul called as Mayock was pulled down from behind. And that's exactly what Tom Brown is saying. Usually a handful of shirt will draw a foul, but not here. So it'll be a goal kick for Houston. Ball played short to the far side. And back to Q to she'll reset. And she'll swing it back over here. Right side in front of us. A lot of room to run. Houston taking advantage of it. So Bearcats do a good job winning the ball. Unlucky there as Pollock played it off the back of Katie Johnson who couldn't get out of the way. Goes out for a Houston throw. Johnson sticks a foot in, but possession stays with the Cougars as they try to bomb a ball long. And a whistle, and they'll stop the clock. I think we've got an injury. 
That may be Woodall, who's down right now. Twenty-three forty-nine left to go in this one. So the trainers will be out, take a look, and it looks like once again another cramp. That is Brianna Woodall. Cats will make a host of substitutions here. Houston will knock the ball forward. Looking for a little bit of space. They'll play it out wide. Overlapping run by Isa Gary. But it'll go out for a Bearcat throw. Right here in front, good defensive work by the Cats. Katie Johnson looks to settle it. Now it's played for Pollock. Pollock looking for the long ball. Plays it forward to Brooke Jones. Jones can't get on the end of it, and it'll roll out for a goal kick. Bearcats just can't seem to find that last pass they're trying to connect. They've done some good work in the midfield to win the ball, move the ball forward. Just trying to connect from the midfield to the forwards right now. Seems to be a bit of a struggle for the Bearcats. Of course, game one of the season. They learn to play with each other a little more. Stuff like that will really start to click as Houston has the ball on the run here. Easy Gary had a lot of room to work. Ultimately fizzled in the end as the Bearcats will play one forward for Jones. Jones looking to get on the end of it. And a little bit of pressure forces Houston to pop the ball up. Now the Cats are going to push numbers forward. Looking to win the ball in the midfield. Ball popped up high and a handball will be called. Ball sent forward. Cats trying to control. Good work by the Cougars to win the ball. And now that one is bombed high. And right over the top of us here. U of H will throw the ball in. And now a foul called on Katie Johnson. And now Katie Johnson's gonna be shown a yellow card. So second yellow of the match. That one issued to Johnson. So U of H will have a free kick here in front. The ball is sent into the box and punched away by Delosier. As the ball cleared past everybody, she had to make a, light, a late diving save.
That ball will go out. It'll be a goal kick for the Bearcats. Less than 20 to play in this one. U of H still leads it 3-0. That was our halftime score. Cougars with goals in the 11th minute, 25th minute, and 30th minute. Desiree Bowen with a goal and two assists for U of H. As that ball is thrown forward by the Cougars. Cats will play it back and it'll be out for a throw. U of H will put a couple of fresh bodies out on the field. For the first time tonight, it doesn't feel miserable down here on the field. Sun is completely set in behind the trees here. Field now completely covered by the stadium lights. This ball is thrown into the box. Rattling around, a little bit of contact, bodies hitting the turf. Play allowed to continue as the ball is sent wide. And now uh, another stoppage, and I think we've got our second half water break here. 18-11 left to play in this one. U of H still leads it. Three to nothing. Give us an opportunity to let you know what is coming up for the Bearcats. We'll be back in action here on Sunday, taking on Gonzaga. That is a one o'clock start. And that's got the potential to be a scorcher. September, no, November. August 29th, the Bearcats will head up to TCU. We're just hoping it's November just for the weather. August 29th at TCU, 7 o'clock game before coming back to Pritchett for two here. Arkansas Pine Bluff, 6.30 start on September 6th. And then September 8th, the Bearcats will welcome the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana. A couple road games to follow there as they'll head to Illinois, Chicago. And then they've got a date at Prairie View A&M on September 15th before coming back home for the Southland Conference opener on September 20th. It'll be the first of three straight games here at Pritchett to start conference play. So the Bearcats will have a chance to get themselves off to a good start in conference play as they'll welcome Central Arkansas here on the 20th. September 27th, Houston Baptist will visit. And then two days later, Texas A&M Corpus Christi will visit Pritchett Field. So the Cats with UCA, HVU, and A&M Corpus to get the conference slate started here at home. Everything will wrap up for the Bearcats on November 1st against Stephen F. Austin. The Southland Conference Tournament this year will be November 6th through the 10th. So the team's heading back out onto the field. Water break is over. And we'll have 18-11 left to play in this one. Cats still looking for their first goal. They've seen better spells of possession here in the second half and better opportunities. Just hadn't been able to finish one off. Best chance for the Bearcats came in the 20th minute as Brianna Woodall was one-on-one -on, -one on the goal, beat cued the keeper, but the ball was cleared off the line. As Grace Stein looks to win possession and wins a throw in for the Bearcats. Ball headed back by U of H. 
Brooke Jones chasing, trying to get on the end of it. In the end, forces a wild clearance by Houston. It'll be a Bearcat throw. Cats send the ball forward, and offsides is the call on Jones. She kind of looks over with the palms up. Felt like she was in position to be able to make that one. So U of H will get us restarted here. And the Bearcats win possession of the ball. See if they can turn it into a little bit of offense. Ball still with the Bearcats. Knocked around over on the far side and the Sam Houston will have a throw in. So they'll look to get restarted quick. Ball tossed down the line and it'll go out for a goal kick. We're in the 74th minute. Houston leads 3-0. All three first half goals for the Cougars. All headed forward by the Bearcats and then controlled. Houston with it in the midfield. Now they'll send the ball forward. And Delosier will come out and collect. Delosier kind of scuffed the kick, caught a couple of nice hops, however. Bearcats look to settle the ball in the midfield. Well won there, but a foul called. Alyssa Austin called for the foul. Explanation was she had grabbed a piece of the shirt Katie Johnson's got a few extra words. She's got to be careful. Katie Johnson already on a yellow, and she was just told to stop talking. <laughs> Quarter of an hour to play here. Houston leading 3-0. Brooke Jones plays the ball forward for Stein. Bearcats have numbers. Johnson streaking to the box. Can Stein find her? Play broken up. Stein backtracks. And a foul called over in front of the Bearcat bench. So the Bearcats will have a free kick. As they feel like some of the whistles have been going against them, so the Bearcats happy to get this call here as they'll put it down and send numbers forward for the free kick. Katie Johnson will take it for the Bearcats. Johnson with the left foot into the box, headed away. Knocked back in by the Bearcats. Houston clears, now room to run. Packer sends the ball forward. Delosier comes out. Short clearance. Settles with the Bearcats. Controlling possession on the far side. Now won by Houston. 
Houston with numbers. Ball, top of the 18, knocked away. Ball loose in the midfield. Who's going to get there first? It's Stein for the Bearcats. Stein plays it out for Johnson. Johnson clears. It's off the hip of a Houston defender. Once again, off of Houston. This time they control possession. And now spin the ball out. It'll be a Bearcat throw. 12 and a half left to play here at Pritchett. Houston leading 3-0. Got about 12 minutes to play here. The ball is headed forward. And then one by Houston. Long ball. Knocked back by McDonald. Premichal couldn't get on the end of that. Track back, defending there. It will remain with Houston. Ball took a high pop there. Sailed over both players' heads and falls to the Cougars where they'll look to build a little possession. They'll swing it out here to the right-hand side. Too much on it. It's going to run away. Kyla Izagari tried to chase it down. Houston pops the ball high in the midfield. Cats head away. Good, strong clearance there. Sent right back in by the Cougars. Bearcats there defensively. Right now, though, all the loose balls are falling to Houston, and they're controlling the possession. Cats can't get anything sustained on the ball. So Houston will play it all the way back to Cude. And now look to build out of the back. Played into the midfield. Rick Jones plays it out wide. Looks to get the ball back. It's knocked down by Houston. Now they'll swing it out here to the right-hand side. Heavy first touch there by Dolan. Foul called on the Bearcats. Prima Chow may have got a little bit extra there. Freshman out of the Woodlands. Played at Oak Ridge High School. Brooke Jones. Tried to play it forward, lost control of the ball. It goes out, and it'll be back to a throw for the Bearcats. So we've got under nine minutes left to play in this one. Houston still with that 3-0 lead that they had at the half. All three goals came in the first 30 minutes of this game. Ball is headed out by the Cougars. It'll be a Bearcat throw. Rachel Downey put it into play. And the throw in goes to Houston. They quickly send it downfield. Once the bent 
Again, the Bearcats just can't hold possession. Another quick throw in by Houston. That time it goes out. It'll be Bearcat possession. So they'll have the throw in. I can't. I mean, I can, but I won't be able to throw in. Seven and a half to play here from Pritchett. Season opener for the Bearcats. This ball is knocked forward and then out for a Bearcat throw. Actually going to say Houston throw. So Houston building possession. Knocked out there by Danny Forsyth. Once again, Houston will throw it into play here, and the ball goes out for a throw in. It'll be a Bearcat throw. Forsyth will throw it in for the Bearcats. She'll get it right back. Sends the ball forward. And the ball is knocked out. It'll be a corner kick for the Bearcats. So with six minutes to play here, the Bearcats will have a chance to take a corner. Caitlin McDonald will take the corner for the Bearcats. Cats will have four in the box, three just outside the box. This ball is sent in, far post, headed back. And the Cats can't hold possession. It goes out for a Houston throw. Five and a half minutes left to go in this one. Ball played, top of the box. Shots in in and it's wide. Lexi Premichow just couldn't guide that one in. Shot number eight for the Bearcats here tonight. They've only had two shots on goal. Both of those have been saved. Cats once again tried to play a ball in, just couldn't get on the end of the pass. Houston will have a goal kick. Ball sent forward, and it's a foot race, won by the Cougars, but it's knocked out and it'll be a goal kick. So good job defensively recovering for the Bearcats. Abby Delosier, sophomore out of McKinney. In goal tonight for the Bearcats. We'll send the ball in. Grace Stein will send the ball forward. Primachow will be able to chase this one down and get on the end of it, but she's called offside. So right idea for the Bearcats, just pass came a little late after Primichow had already started a run. Oh, 
U of H can't get on the end of that pass. Under three minutes left to play here. Two and a half left. It's out for a Houston throw. Reminder, the Bearcats are back in action on Sunday, taking on Gonzaga. That'll be a one o'clock game out here at Pritchett. No NFL to contend with on Sunday yet. So come on out, enjoy some Bearcat soccer. Weather should be lovely for that one. Ball played out by the Bearcats, but sent right back in by Houston. As the cross was blocked, and it'll be a corner kick for the Cougars. 90 seconds left in this one. Houston trying to make a last push. Ball sent into the box, right in the middle of the box, knocked around, and it'll be out for a goal kick. Cats will play the kick quickly, and heavy contact, and a foul called, and I think we're going to get a booking here on this. And a yellow card is shown to Lauren Flowers. Brooke Jones took that heavy contact, was a little slow getting up. Came over, said she's fine. So in the final minute of action here, U of H shown their second yellow of the night. Now the Cougars are back on the ball here. And it's Packer chasing it down on the far side. Packer cuts in towards the box, sends a shot, sails high. The Lozier sends the goal kick in. So there's 10 seconds left in this one. The final seconds will tick away. The ball's played into the midfield, and that will do it for us here at Pritchett Field as the Bearcats fall in the season opener 3-0 to the Houston Cougars. For U of H, it was three goals in the first 30 minutes of play as Kennedy Dollins scored in the 11th minute, assisted by Desiree Bowen. Then it was Desiree Bowen by herself, top of the key, knocked the ball in just underneath the crossbar. Bowen once again was involved as she assisted on the third goal as Morgan Good finished it off. And those were your three goals as Sam Houston falls in this one three to nothing. So I want to thank you for joining us here for this broadcast. Well, we worked out a few kinks. Happy you were able to Join us along the way. We'll have Bearcat soccer for you all season long here on the Bearcat Sports Network.